Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well today. Max is squeaking. He wants to say hello. We got Sean here with us too. So thanks for stopping by and watching my videos and supporting my channel. I love you guys all for it. Good times never been so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Uh, I wanted to show you something that I picked up at uh, the Salvation Army that I like to go to. They do a, a silent auction. Now, Sean was bidding on something else, and I saw this and I said, bid on that as well. So when we found out that we won, <laughs> it was how many weeks later? Five. They're like, are you coming in to pick up your item? And then, um, so I said, well, next time I'm going to put it in my name no, with they, my phone number. They called me and says, are you coming to pick up your item? I said, what <laughs> item? Well, the item you won in our last month's uh, silent auction. Yeah, last month. I said, <laughs> what are you talking about? Nobody notified me. Nope. So this was from March. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's wearing his Canada sweater, everybody. Canada. Yeah. So Gosh. anyway, I really wanted this. And I looked online and some people are selling them for up to the $100 range. What it is, is an old um, foot heater. You would warm your feet on it. So it's metal and this is carpet. It's been well worn. It's been well used. And you pull out this little tray. Can't do it. You pull out the little metal tray and it still has coal in it. Flip it over so they can see. It still has chunks of coal in it. So you would light up your coal, put your feet on the carpet and warm your feet up. So I, if I remember correctly, it dates back to the 1930s. Guess how much I got it for. I couldn't believe it. $20. The sticker's still on it. $20. Now, I don't know why it, it said as is. To me, it looks like you light up the coal and you stick your feet on top. Mm -hmm. I might even try it one day. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. It says vintage $20. So it's made by Chicago. Flexible. Oh, flexible. What does that say? S.H. Shaft Co.? Yeah. Yeah, Shaft Co. And now it is numbered. We saw something on the other side too. The Clark heater and it says number, but it looks like a 5B. But you said it's a 53. That looks like a 6. No, it's indented. It's either a B or a 3, 53. Six. 53 probably makes more sense. Looks like a 6. But how cool is that? Isn't this awesome? You guys know I love some really old um, vintage items that are unusual to find nowadays so i'm pretty happy with that that's going to go with my collection now today's video is my um irish uh subscription box so this one is for april because uh it had just come in when i was jumping in the truck with sean so it's been sitting here because i didn't want to open it and i just saw that payment for my May box was taken out. So it's already on its way. So we got to get into this one. Now they do kind of itemize there what's on it. So I kind of randomly looked down it quick. And there, ooh, there's some goodies in there. Some edible ooh. goodies. Woohoo! So this is what it looks like. And these do come from uh, Dublin, Ireland. It says, Ireland forever. Aaron go bra in your heart. And then they seal it with one of their stickers. And I've been really enjoying receiving these. It's a little treat for myself. Always comes like this. If any of you are interested in these, you just need to go to Ireland Forever Box. Um, yeah. They're on Facebook too, if you want to look them up on Facebook. Ireland Forever Box at gmail.com. No, that's their email if yeah. you want to look them up. Oh, yeah, it's just Ireland Forever Box. 
I love these stickers and I hate ripping them off. Now, should we go through this? Normally you get this inside and it tells you everything. So maybe you could look through like when I pull it out, but wow, look, and oh my goodness, the bread mix that I got um, back in this winter time there, we baked it, it was delicious. I know it smells it good smells in there, funny. smell. And then uh, what Chipotle else? Oh, we've smell. eaten, we've eaten the uh, <laughs> fudge. That was delicious too. First thing I see on the top looks like a, a case for my glasses. That's very pretty. Now, what does it say there? Keep your sunglasses safe and stylish. You read it. <coughs> Would you like me to read it? Yeah. He doesn't, oh, you have glasses on, it's right there. <laughs> Keep, Keep your sunglasses safe and stylish with this sleek case featuring Celtic and shamrock designs. It's beautiful. It's slip design makes it easy to toss in your bag Boop. and for those sunny spring outings. Yes. So that's going to be, oh, and it feels beautiful. It's not, it's like a fake leather, whatever you want to call it. Pleather. It's a pleather. Beautiful. All right. What is next? I see this. Well, you just went down into the middle. So what's Oh, I'll next? go down into the middle. Oh, it's a handcrafted leather bracelet. It's got the clatter on it. Wear a piece of Irish heritage on your wrist with this handcrafted leather clatter bracelet worn with rare Connemara marbles. It's a true Ooh. symbol of love, loyalty, and friendship. So those are real marbles in, on the bottom piece. Not just any marbles. No. Connemara. The Connemara model. <laughs> Condom. Connemara. No. Connemara. <laughs> Connemara. Connemara. No. Connemara. 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 Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was right, Connemara. Who's got the marbles? Who used to live in Ireland? <laughs> yeah, Connemara marbles. Most family fled Ireland before yours. Carefully extracted from our quarry in County Galway on Ireland's wild Atlantic coast, uh, Connemara marble is a rare 900 million year old stone which we craft and polish to bring you the genuine and truly unique Irish gift. That is beautiful. So it's kind of a three strand, uh, it's a three strand uh, bracelet. And then it's one of those ones where you just pull to, you know, adjust it onto your wrist. So that is very beautiful. All right, the next thing in the middle is, um, wow, this is a nice big jar. <gasps> Irish raspberry and vanilla jam. Dive into the delightful flavors of homemade raspberry and vanilla jam straight from County Meath. County Meath. Meath. County Meath. County Meath. County Meath. Meath. Who's me? County Meath. Meath H. <laughs> <laughs> Slather it on your scones or add a dollop mm. to your morning toast for a taste of pure bliss. Oh, I should make some scones. Ooh. Irish scones. Homemade in Ireland in small batches. So the ingredients are Irish raspberries, sugar, vanilla, and pectin. Store out of direct sunlight and away from your husband. I mean. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> Refrigerate after opening and enjoy within four weeks. <laughs> More like four minutes. I hope that you enjoy tasting our product as much as I enjoy making them. I'd love to hear your comments, so please contact me and she relates Nola, to you? Nola Smith, no. Nicola. Nicola? Oh yeah, it is Nicola. Nicola Smith. Uh, you know what? I do have a cousin named Nicola. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> I could be related to this person. <laughs> All right, so that was Jam. This is a big, oh, Irish gin. It's too bad it wasn't real gin. Drums, handbow, gunpowder, Irish gin gun flavored. Gunpowder. Oh, powder, sorry. See, it's even gun got powder. A Chinese saying there. It does. Why do I have Chinese? 
flavored milk chocolate truffles and it contains 17 chocolates. What does the description say there? Oh, um, treat yourself to the luxurious taste of Butler's chocolate truffles infused with drum shambo gunpowder Irish gin. It's wow. a decadent indulgence that makes your spring days even sweeter. Oh, well, we're definitely going to try one. Guess we got to untie this. I'm not a big gin fan, but that looks kind of... No, I'm not a gin fan either because... Ugh, yeah. But we're going to try I it. I don't know about the United States, but in Canada, gin is called panty remover. <laughs> It, what the what is it they drink? A gin and tonic? Yeah. 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 I'm not a gin drinker, but oh, this is how, look, they're called butlers. Here you go. Isn't that what... Uh, Let's try one. Isn't that what... Uh, James, is it darker? James Bond drinks. Oh, it's like a milk chocolate ball. So it says, uh, founded in 1932, Butlers is Ireland's premier family-owned firm dedicated to the crafts of... Exceptional chocolate making. These are, are slow distilled by hand in medieval copper pot stills with, oh yeah, um, how is that? Oh. Mm, it's a cream in the middle. I like it. I think you got some on your nose. Hmm? No, I don't. <laughs> Since 1932. Mmm. That kind of gin is nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have to look for a bottle of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has Chinese writing on it there and on the actual bottle. I'm not sure oh why. Oh my god, it's got Sanskrit on it. What the hell? It's got what? Sanskrit. Mmm. Mm, that's delicious. All right, what's next? I see this next. Wow, this is a big bag of something. Ooh, glu oh my gosh, it's it's weird. Gluten free scone mix. There you go. I'll mix the scones and we'll eat the jam. It's cool. Oh, it's it's. Whip up a batch of delicious scones with ease using our glutton free scone mix from Rosaline's Kitchen in Carlstown County, Westmeath. Perfect for a cozy afternoon tea or a springtime brunch. Oh, so it's actually the ingredients are rice flour, tapioca flour, maize flour, sugar, whatever that is, zangathan gum baking powder, a product, Xanthum, this product is manufactured with certified, gl 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 <laughs> certified gluten-free ingredients in a registered gluten-free facility. Yeah. It's like, is it powder? Oh, it must be. It's just because the bag is so big. Oh, these are going to be delicious. Gluten-free scones. Gluten free. Mm -hmm. It just says add 100 grams of butter and rub with your fingers. Add one egg. I just brought some eggs in. Topple dough onto flour surface, dust rolling pin, and cutting to prevent sticking. Flatten dough with your hand until about three centimeters thick. Cut in size with a scone cutter or a knife. Bake the scones in a preheated oven for 30 minutes at 180 C on a floured tray. Oh, yeah. Feel it. Hands. It feels and liquidy, please. but it must be powder. Yeah. And please wash your hands before you mix it with your fingers. What does it say about the family? So there's a family on the back here. They are called uh, Rosaline's Story. Over the years, as a... Kuliak. A Kuliak. Over the years, as a Kuliak and having spoken to many Kuliaks and those with a gluten intolerance, two that, things that 
are very much missed our home baking and the nostalgic smells That's it brings CX, to your home. Our goal is for you to fall in love with food again while enjoying the process and the taste of your creations from your own oven. We are proud to produce our baking mixes for home bakers and novice cooks straight from my family kitchen to yours. We strive to change perceptions of gluten-free home baking one mix at a time and for generations to come. We want those nostalgic, nostalgic smells to take over that feeling of jittery anticipation and excitement as you wait for the oven to ping. We hope you enjoy creating your favorites and the taste you have craved. Now down here, a baker's tip. It said that you could uh, add some dried fruit, fresh raspberries or chocolate for something very special and egg wash the top of the scones for an even more golden bake. But there's the family there that made them. So I'll be baking these. Very good. All right. So there's still some more in here. It's still covered up. We'll go with this little box that's sticking out. I think this is what smells so good. Oh yeah, essential oil, soy tea lights. Read what they say. Uh, it says, bring the sense of blooming gardens into your home with the homemade soy tea lights. Inspired by the lush gardens of Tura Lodge Farm, let the delicate fragrance of essential oils fill your space with the soothing sense of spring bloom. <gasps> They're beautiful. Ooh. Oh, they smell so good. Are they in plastic? Probably. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even tell you what they are. What? There's no... No. There's nothing to tell us what they are. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Your little tea lights, can you guys smell them? Oh, They're so them? good. It's whatever is flaked on top of them. No, it doesn't tell you a whole lot, does it? Nope. Oh, but they're beautiful. That's like a sage or so Ooh, in that this one. Smells like uh, the perfume great grandma used to wear. <laughs> perfume. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing inside to uh, just as essential oil. Tea lights, unique blends inspired by the gardens of Tura Lodge Farm. That one's kind Look of at like the box. A, Isn't that cute? Uh, ground up rose petals. Oh, well, whatever. As soon as you light those, oh my goodness. That one smells not so good. That's lavender, and I just got it all over my nose. Oh, I told you That's the lavender nose. that we have outside. It's lavender. It don't smell like lavender. Yeah, it's lavender. Lavender is supposed to be purple, not blue. It is purple. It's that's, a purpley blue. It's blue. They're beautiful. Anyways, we'll figure them out. All right, now... We're going to peel back this green. Oh, there's a postcard. Let's do the postcard. Greetings from Ireland. The cliffs of more. Beautiful. Go with the people. Anyway, there's, there's one more item. It's wrapped. And then that's it. <laughs> Don't fall. Are you sure? It's potato chips. People sending us to uh, recycling. It's a pack of chip crisps. Chip, the old, the old and chipper. they're Irish sea salt. It's a long way Seven generations of farming since 1725. And these are also gluten-free. Gluten-free is really popular over in Ireland. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to open these. John, and I haven't had a potato chip in five weeks. John, John Pinette, the, uh, the, the comedian, says that they should have a gluten spread to put on gluten free products. <laughs> <laughs> Over the last decade, Ireland has fallen in love with the award winning taste of O'Donnell's crisps. In fact, our hand cooked crisps are Ireland's favorite. See, mine was, my favorite was the Tato. Uh, what's our secret? Well, it all starts with the perfect potato. For 
Over seven generations, our family have lived in Seskin Farm, and we're proud to use nearly 300 years of expertise to bring you O'Donnell's The Finest Hand Cooked Crisps. Farmed from its mineral rich qualities, Irish sea salt has been harvested from our sea for over 1,000 years. O'Donnell's Irish sea salt use Oriole sea salt to bring a burst of ocean freshness to every bag. You may notice the packaging for this O'Donnell bag feels a little different. That's because we're using 22% less packaging than we used for our 50 gram product in 2022. At O'Donnell, we love the earth and thought our package reduction program, we are committed to reducing our impact on the planet one packet of crisps at a time. Yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't come up with an edible bag yet. <laughs> you eat the bag first, then the chip. Oh my gosh, these are going to be... Uh, uh. I see a, a folded one. Ow. Mmm. They're just sea salt. They're delicious. They're no vinegar, just sea <laughs> Just sea salt. Mmm. What a fun bag this was. I love them. I gotta show you one more thing before we leave. Ah, put the gluten back in. <laughs> gluten back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're only sea salt. There's no vinegar. You like them? I find gluten-free stuff takes the flavor out of the food. Oh. I have to show you, I made my best ever yet. And I keep saying that every time I make, every time I bake a bread. But I bake this on Sunday. It came out absolutely delicious. It's soft and fluffy. And look, I can still push on it. I mean, I gotta show them. Wasn't this one delicious? It's so, good. it's really good. Look at that. And it has gluten. And it has gluten. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot one more thing. I feel sorry for the people with celiac disease. Pretty sure that's what it is, celiacs, for gluten-free. Eve is going crazy and she's uh, she's all the way up to there. She was down here earlier. So I'm gonna prepare another one tonight. We're gonna have another, what is this mess on my seat? <laughs> Somebody was in the chicken coop. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was in a chicken coop and I brought it, the shavings in with me. They're all over the chair now. Well, that was a fun box. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And uh, I'd say there was quite a few really nice items in this one. Definitely using that for my glasses. Gonna wear my bracelet. They're getting better. We're gonna burn some candles. Are both ends? Hmm. And we're going to enjoy our gin. Chocolates, chocolate and chips. Who else has a craving for that? Sometimes if I like, if I just eat a salted potato chip, I need a piece of chocolate afterwards. Is that just me or anybody else do that? Then we're gonna bake scones. What do you need after? And then we're gonna put raspberry jam on them. So I really love this box. This was amazing. Wow, if you are watching from, uh, Ireland Forever box. I love everything that was in this April box and I'm looking forward to my May box. Thanks so much. Yeah. What'd you think? Well, you got a hat in the last one. I got a hat. So there was some, and the edibles yeah. are for both of us. With a bottle opener. With a bottle opener, yes, yeah, so you can't complain. You, you did well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. goodbye cans. Welcome back bottles.
I shouldn't have put that in my mouth before I was about to say goodbye. That's your fault. And did he show you the I postcard? Did. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me know if um, what you liked out of this box. Also, let me know if you've ever seen one of those heaters before. I think that is the coolest thing ever. I have a few very rare, um, I call them antiques. I don't, is that vintage or antique? We do have to look up, you said about 1930s? I'm thinking 1930s. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let me know if you've seen one before, if you've used one before, if somebody in your family still has one, because I think that's pretty cool. I love finding things like that. And that was definitely well used. Just uh, look at the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the carpet on the underside is kind of rough looking too but it's just for show I might try to light it up and see how it works but other than that it's just to sit out and display it's pretty cool all right so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you all enjoyed our trucking video I don't know where this one's gonna fall in I have lots of editing to do before we made it home but we're home safe and I might just throw these in between while I'm editing the final, the final few. What's, what's, what, what's, what? what? <laughs> all right, take care and we'll catch us all on the next video. Slantia. Bye for now. He's drinking his. Slancha. <laughs>